Good afternoon, friends. Happy January second to all of you. My friends, your next stimulus check may be arriving very soon, and support is now growing for at least one more federal round of relief payments. Several lawmakers have approved new legislation that will provide some additional money to families and seniors this year. Friends, please do me a big favor and watch until the end of this video. Also, I will be giving away three seventy-five-dollar Walmart gift cards this coming Friday. Please enter the giveaways by clicking and liking several of my videos, and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. Friends, the more videos that you watch and then leave a comment on, the greater your chances of winning these giveaways. According to the latest surveys, sixty percent of Americans want Congress. To send out another federal round of stimulus checks, it was about 20 states that chose to approve this sort of payment in 2022, and many cities also decided to approve relief as well. However, not every taxpayer has received this check yet. The stimulus check might be on its way for those who are waiting. In California, some of those payments have already been made. Those missing debit card payments may have to wait until the end of this month. These checks are in the middle class tax refund plan. And another state that has also delayed payment for late filers is Colorado. Taxpayers in the state of Idaho could receive their stimulus checks in just a few days. The amount that they may receive is six hundred dollars for couples who file jointly, or three hundred dollars for single filers. The next state to pay stimulus checks. Is Indiana. However, it will be done in a different way. The state has two different tax refunds. You could either be eligible for one or two of them. Taxpayers in the state of Rhode Island, who had an extension, also had a deadline and received their checks in December. So, friends, please definitely keep an eye out if you have not received your relief check if you reside in one of these states. Now, Democrats. Are about to hand over the House of Representatives to Republicans. Looking back at the last two years, there were plenty of disagreements among Democrats, even as they held control of both chambers of Congress. Last year, President Biden was not able to pass the full scope of his social spending plan. For example, the expanded child tax credit did not get extended, and the president's student loan relief program is currently tied up in courts. With an uncertain future, and yet Democrats still manage to pass major pieces of legislation, several with bipartisan support. But according to recent polls, most Americans disapprove of the job that President Biden is doing. But voters did give Democrats strong midterm results. It's also true that much of the legislation will take time to take hold and be in effect. One of Biden's first acts as president. Was to try to get the crisis under control. Biden worked to pass a Build Back Better Act. It was a massive social spending bill to the tune of nearly two trillion dollars, including many promises that Biden made on the 2020 campaign trail, such as major health care reform, universal pre-kindergarten, and paid family leave. Five hundred and fifty billion dollars. Dedicated to combating climate change and much more, the Biden administration and Congress eventually agreed to pass a 1.9 trillion dollar American Rescue Plan. The White House sent Americans in the low to middle income range a 1,400 dollar payment to help fund basic necessities like rent and groceries. Biden also extended a 300 dollar a week federal unemployment benefit for nearly 10 million people who were at work at that time. Temporarily expanded the child tax credit program, allotted seven point twenty-five billion dollars for small business loans, and one hundred and twenty-eight billion dollars in grants for state educational agencies. Biden also signed a one trillion dollar infrastructure bill into law that will repair the nation's roads, bridges, and railways, bring high-speed internet to rural communities, and more. The bipartisan infrastructure law. Includes two hundred and eighty-four billion dollars for transportation needs. So, friends, how do you think that President Biden is doing so far? Please leave those thoughts in the comment section below. Well, my amazing and greatest dear friends, 
That is the end of my daily stimulus update video for this January 2nd. Thank you so much, friends, for being part of this community. And to say thank you for being here every day and watching the new videos that I post, I will be announcing three winners for a $75 Walmart gift card this coming Friday. Please enter the giveaway, my friends, by clicking and liking several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, the likely your chances of winning these giveaways. Thank you, friends, and have a wonderful and blessed afternoon. Yeah, customary farewell address. And I'd like to begin by thanking our colleague and our leader, Mitch McConnell, for his very, very kind words. I appreciate that, uh, Leader McConnell. And I would also uh, like to say I appreciate the confidence that you have repeatedly placed in me. Um, your uh, recollections brought back many memories. One was um, the super committee. And um, I served on the super committee, but what most of you probably don't know is that Leader McConnell had great reservations about putting me on the super committee. Oh, yeah. And he grilled me for what seems like it was hours on s over several occasions. But here's why. He grilled me because he wanted an outcome. And his concern was, will this firebrand from the Club for Growth be willing to compromise, be willing to reach an agreement that couldn't possibly be exactly what he wanted? And what was most important, as I recall from our conversations, to Leader McConnell was that the people on that super committee, at least the ones that he could appoint, be interested in a successful outcome. And Madam President, I would suggest that one of the things that is underappreciated about Leader McConnell is how relentlessly focused he is on outcomes. Um, it's hard to know because he doesn't tell us that much about what he's thinking, if you haven't noticed. Uh, but uh, I'm pretty sure that that is a big driver. So, Leader McConnell, I appreciate your leadership. I appreciate the confidence you've placed in me. I appreciate our friendship and uh, terrific working relationship. Um, for the many thanks that I have to give, um, I'll start with my family, um, starting with, um, with my parents. Um, they did a great job raising six kids, I'll tell you that much. Uh, I have to uh, really stress my gratitude for my wife. Chris, uh, most of you probably don't know, but Chris had a very successful and promising career as a consultant, which she put aside so that I could pursue mine. So, in many ways, I think she had a tougher job. <laughs>